like, but I got this. It's really good. N no need to thank me. Uh, please have fun. Some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see, Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the term. Select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done. If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Stop, stop. Don't call me that. Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Rover, let's go inside. Hi to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? I refuse to tolerate the foolish striving of those insatiable slugs. Since it's difficult for our research to deal with a man like him, I'd rather handle it personally and swiftly. And you are? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you- Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the new... Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please.
Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Oh, I don't think I've ever had No, I'm from the new federation. You know I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals? The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huanglong local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with real- Second it. Let's find out through actual testing then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the academy? Over. Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. Have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin if you're ready. Do you have any questions before we begin? Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency. And how do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. This is known as overclocking and is categorized into three levels based on severity. The excess resonance energy harms both the resonator and their surrounding. In extreme cases, the excess energy can even manifest as destructive tacit fields. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. It means simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. One with the sounds. No hesitation. Detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the crown. We will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. <sighs> ha! Keep 
fit together. The hour is upon us. Last chance. <laughs> One with the sounds. <laughs> not, not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Shake the shakeless! ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? I'm back to the same spot again. And this... Moon? What is happening? Are those... tacit discords? what you saw? Can you give us some more details? moon looming above you. Now, this reminds me of the unusual sightings that supposedly happened during a past war. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated sonorosphere. 
but we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. This journey bring us closer to the truth. Here's your sundial. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there's a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Hmm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well... Since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some... Prover, let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. 
Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I... Hmm. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. Results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20-year-old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar per- The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. 
What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too.
Good morning! Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please! What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Burger? She's locked herself in the lab again. Has no left since yesterday. I probably won't see her until she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance. And with just a few tugs of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, stick sinker. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? For the mangosteen? We got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea. 
and the resonance cord flowing from your tacit mark. And you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits on the Norfolk Barrens. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance cords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and mortal barons. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me your dream points toward the Norfolk Barons. It's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect without a doubt. combat abilities with special items. Our echoes, if you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. Crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranger's training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shizia. Instructor Yen is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough, but I think Rover can handle anything he throws at her. Defense of the city. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice. To I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may. I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including... We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> you
Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Greetings. I'm Jianxin. Could you please do me a favor? I want to go look for someone outside the city, but I don't have an access pass, so... May I tag along? Oh, I see. I've got three Guokue flatbreads, 34 shell credits, and the Mares of Clarity. They're all yours. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, she could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass. And no one would question it. Sure. So you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't. You have a kind soul, Master Jian Xin. It's all thanks to many kind hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhong Ya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinjo. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhong Ya's grandson is very likely in the Deserog Highland. <sighs> thanks to your help. I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. The one you're looking for. Is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we the Midnight Rangers would never allow non- Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal.
Is that the beacon? Hmm. Why are there so many people? Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the- Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I... I can't move. So hungry. Please don't arrest us! We really had no choice! What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you, thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. We're begging you, stop! We surrender! Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we just we just joined the exiles recently. We done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang! Didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway. So we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army. But with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut. Wait, what I gave them was enough for them to make it to Jinjo, even when they are so many. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to survive. Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily at a time like this. If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. 
It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jan Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <laughs> yeah, fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait, please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Hmm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reached it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Leave it to me. Administering first aid. Let the winds roar. Embracing change. I can handle this. Swift and resolute. What of the sound. Resolute. Commence healing. <gasps> Acceptable damage. A strategic adjustment required. Conception. Thank you. 
Embracing change. Your weakness. <laughs> the thorns are blocking the path. Hmm. I will have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Please be careful. They look sharp. Hmm. Maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Fear no more. 